Incline Railway, the world's steepest passenger incline railway, and America's most amazing mile. Our incline car will travel nearly one mile straight up the face of Lookout Mountain at a speed of 600 feet per minute, reaching an altitude of 2,100 feet above sea level. The car that you are riding was installed in March 1987. Each car is steel and was especially built for the incline at an 18 degree angle. Each car is 42 feet long and weighs 12 tons. Two, one, and a quarter inch wire cables carry the incline cars up and down the mountain. You should feel more comfortable about your ride, knowing that the cables have a combined strength of 142 tons. The cables are fastened underneath one car, wound around huge drums in the machine room at the top of the mountain, and connected underneath the other car, so that the two cars operate like weights on a pulley. When one car goes up, the other car comes down. The entire cable system is changed every three years. Other safety features include a bonus elevator safety gear, which automatically locks the cars down if their speed goes above 10 miles per hour. A giant automatic brake in the incline's machine room, which will lock down the cars in case of a power failure and manual brakes produced by the operators. In recognition of the incline's historically significant role and unique mechanical design, in 1974, it was designated a National Historic Site by the United States Department of the Interior, and in 1991, a National Historic Mechanical Engineering Landmark by the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. The incline began making history on November 16, 1895, when the car first reached the crest of the mountain. The car was made of wood with open windows that gave the passengers an exhilarating feeling as they traveled up and down the mountain. In the early days, the power was supplied by huge coal-burning steam engines situated in the powerhouse at the crest of the mountain. On each trip, the incline cars would carry coal for use in the boilers in specially designed containers attached to the upper ends of the cars. In 1911, the coal-burning engines were converted to an electrical system. Today, the two 120-horsepower motors, huge drum gears, and other operating machinery which provide power for the cars can be seen in a viewing area at the Lookout Mountain Station. 
Lookout Mountain is part of the Cumberland Mountains, part of the Appalachian Chain, as are the Great Smoky Mountains. Lookout Mountain is the southernmost mountain in the Appalachians. Many of the mountain residents use the incline. Sometimes they're only linked with the top of the mountain when we have ice and snow, which luckily isn't too often. The incline has also been used to transport freight, mail, and school children. As the incline is the fastest method of transportation up and down the mountain, it has been known to help a mother-to-be make it to the hospital on time. There have been several weddings aboard the incline while the cars climb the mountain. As the incline climbs historic Lookout Mountain, it will travel through the cities of Chattanooga and Lookout Mountain, as well as Hamilton County and the Chickamauga and Chattanooga National Military Battlefield. Traveling up the mountain, you'll find that the air gets cooler, since there is an approximate 8 degree temperature difference between the Chattanooga Valley and Lookout Mountain. The grade of the track at the steepest point near the top is 72.7%, giving the incline the unique distinction of being the steepest passenger railway in the world. When we reach the top, visit our observation decks, the highest observation points on Lookout Mountain, for a breathtaking view of the Chattanooga Valley. On a clear day, you can see six states. For those of you who enjoy history, plan to visit Point Park, located three blocks from the Lookout Mountain Station. Point Park is part of the Chickamauga and Chattanooga Military Park, the nation's oldest and largest national military park. The famous Civil War Battle Above the Clouds was fought at the park in November 1863. The battle took place on a day so rainy, misty, and foggy that many times the soldiers had to withhold their rifle fire for fear of hitting friend rather than foe. Thus the name, Battle Above the Clouds. Another problem in defending the mountain was that as the soldiers lowered their cannons to fire on the troops coming down from below, the ball would roll out of the cannon barrel. When General Grant was on Lookout Mountain in 1863, it took him nearly four hours over very rough roads to reach the top. But as every visitor to the point area discovers, it's worth the effort. Today, the Incline Railway takes riders almost a mile straight up the face of Lookout Mountain in about 10 minutes. At Point Park, three blocks from the Lookout Mountain Station, you too can marvel at the view that General Grant saw of the Tennessee River Valley 1,500 feet below. For unique, computerized, and other displays of Chattanooga's Civil War history, visit the Battles for Chattanooga Electric Mountain Museum across from Point Park. We hope you enjoy your ride on the incline. When you reach the Lookout Mountain Station, take your time and enjoy the shops, observation decks, machine room, and incline photo exhibit. On behalf of all Carter employees, have a nice visit on Historic Lookout Mountain. If there's anything we may do to assist you, please let us know. Thank you. 